Hey there, everybody, and welcome to, well, not really a brand new series, but, you know, still kind of technically brand new. Yes, we're finally getting to a different beating the self thing. I don't even know how to do, I, I haven't recorded content for like a while, so my brain's kind of just a little fuzzy when it comes to trying to do all this stuff again, so commentary's going to take a bit to kind of get back to, you know, the norm. And yeah, I know I did say like, oh, I wasn't going to come back for like a few months, but to be fair, that was toward main content, and this is not really technically main content, because most people probably don't know, or probably even care. I actually do other stuff on this channel besides, um, you know, this type of stuff, like just, all right, hang on, I'm just trying to think of like a decent enough team to start with. You know, I got a crazy idea. I'll explain the rules in a minute, but I got a crazy idea. I'm just going to do this. There we go. All right. So, uh, this is, of course, a returning series from... Because, like, I, I, I did it with Guilty Gear. I almost forgot what I was doing for a second. I did it with Guilty Gear, and I'm doing it with this one, too. Because I've, I've been trying to figure out, like, another game to do this sort of series for. It's basically a series in which I do a mirror match against a CPU opponent. Usually at the... Typically... It doesn't have to be this way, but typically usually at the strongest level. So, in the case of Dragon Ball Fighters, it'd be level 100. Uh, CPU strength of 100. And I have to win at least two two matches. We can go on for however long it takes before we actually eventually, you know, win, I guess you could say, or I just give up. If, if I give up, the video will just basically just be gone. That's usually a good sign of, yeah, he pretty much sucked, didn't know what he was doing, and we're good to go. But yeah, if, if you watch the Guilty Gear Rev 2 stuff, you'll probably be a lot more, you know, familiar. Hold on, it's been... It's been a... Well, it hasn't really been that long. It's just kind of weird doing it on, um... Shit. I forgot that's what that was. I thought it was a beam, honestly. Okay, that was a nice, uh... That was a nice DP. I know that, um, Dragon Ball Fighters, which obviously I'm playing right now, it got, you know, a nice bit of a... I have no fucking meter. Well, that's because... I keep wasting the same meter on stupid shit that has... Okay, I had... Oop. But yeah, I, I will tell you guys right now, I'm not a very great fighter at just fighting games or even just like this game in general. So don't expect like any crazy cool combos. Maybe you might be able to see some decent neutral. Eh. But I, I wouldn't say that. But anyway, so back on topic to like the main stipulation, because again, uh, I'm a little bit distracted because uh, it's been a bit since I've played this game and I'll explain how fighters works but yeah going back to it I did rev 2 I didn't finish it though unfortunately but I did do a rev 2 of this where I would basically just do a mirror match play them on maniac mode and of course like I said best two out of usually best two out of three but it was more so like as long as I win two matches I'm good and no one's to kill so I'm not allowed to use those which of course Jumbo Fighters does not have even though it's made by Arxis it does not have does not have those insta kills. Now, for fighters, because this is a tag game, it always kind of, you know, I always kind of like ask the question, like, how exactly should this game, how, how exactly should I, oh, god damn, I'm stupid. How exactly should I incorporate a perfect mirror match if it's a tag game? And the way that I thought of it, well, originally I thought, well, like, was, you know, oh, I'll just consider, like, all three characters basically as a one team thing and then just go with that right but i think i've decided because there's enough characters to do it for to last for a series and plus dragon ball fighters is really not that tough cpus you know cpus wise i know i'm technically getting my ass beat i forgot how fucking gohan's fucking auto combo thing worked for a second there i'm too high up for that to work oh well you know perfect i might be able to get the kill here i don't know Oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what his level one, or... Yeah, oops. I guess I somehow accidentally did level three, but I'll take it. It's a little bit of an overkill, but, you know, it works out in the end. To be fair. What the... the fuck was that for? That was weird. Just Well, he didn't really slowly approach me, but he certainly did. Also, I think this got updated to teleport behind. I just don't know how to do it now. Oh my fucking god, he hit confirmed the level three. I'm just being dumb at this point, but I want, I want to see something. 
Do you have to hold it? Yeah, you have to hold it now. Okay. I was wondering about that. Anyway, so the way I'm going to do it here is I'm going to do every character. So we're going to start with Goku, of course, because I forgot to show the outro. But we show those after I win two matches. Anyway, so we'll show off Goku. And he'll count as, like, the first character. Now, who I pick as a team doesn't really necessarily matter. It could be anybody, realistically speaking. God damn, I'm so bad. Shh. Well, luckily, uh, I was in block string, so that helped out big time. Okay, that one's gonna hurt a little bit. I fell for that. I can't believe I fucking got hit by that shit. Really? Just gonna fucking... Yeah, because, like, okay. If I was playing online, I guess it'd probably make more sense why they were probably doing that. Because, to be fair... Uh, the new update allows you to do, basically, like, whenever you're in Sparking, you can go from... You you can do... Pretty much specials into specials. You can cancel, like, specials into each other now, which is pretty nice. But anyway, so yeah, the team doesn't matter, going back on top of the team. The initial team itself... Oh my god, dick. <laughs> the initial team itself doesn't exactly matter fully who I play. And it doesn't really matter who I win with, in terms of Dragon Ball Fighters. As long as I just win... And as long as the characters that I pick are appropriate for it. And, of course, you know, if we're picking a team, uh, it doesn't matter what assist, but it does matter the mirror match. Like, I I'll make it, I'll make it count. I'll make the, um, the, I'll make the, I'll make the teams the same. Same assist, you know, all that fun stuff. Yeah, my Vegeta combos are not very good. Also, thought I was on the other side, and I went and did the wrong move. Well, it didn't even come out, but, you know, I was basically up about to essentially just do the wrong move there. Yeah, hopefully you guys can, you know, find this series somewhat enjoyable. Um, this is, of course, a returning series, but it will, of course, be in its own playlist. So it'll be named, you know, obviously something a bit different. Now, granted, I could always do this stuff online, but I feel like, you know, because online is the way that it is, I wouldn't be able to. God damn it, DP sucks. Well, I hate getting hit by it, that's why. But anyway, so like, yeah, playing online wouldn't make any sense because like, no one's gonna really want to realistically mirror match with me unless I ask them directly. But even then, you know, finding somebody to just go into that might be harder. Alright, here comes, you know, basic fucking... Wow, okay. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Now, granted, I could make another stipulation specifically for Dragon Ball Fighters. In which I could just make it to where... Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, the thing is, I'm playing with a, with a hard CPU, so I'm trying to like do these combos, but... My brain's not working with it. It keeps freaking out. And I keep losing Goku, so... Which, by the way, if I lose the character I'm playing, it doesn't matter. See, I can't get that fucking 2M out. And, and then when I do, my brain just stops and is like, Whoa, hold on, I don't, I don't know what to do there. Fuck. Anyway, I could always make another stipulation of maybe best three out of five. Well, not really three out of five, but, but like best three matches. But that depends, because like, there's characters in this game that I just, you know, don't really care for. But then you'll have matches like this where just nothing... Like, it just happens. Now, granted, you could argue that, you know, it's fine if you won both that fast, because you can just always move on to a different character, because it's going to be a long series. And technically it will be. And I think with that, I could probably just say, all right, fine. I didn't get to talk about literally everything I want to talk about, but, you know, I'm known to yap about just practically everything. So, not, not to yap too much anymore, I think we'll just consider it, yeah, we'll just do two two wins. I can lose as many times as, as need be, but it has to be two wins. It doesn't have to be a streak, just got to win twice. Basically like the Guilty Gear Rev 2 series, which never got finished, but... I said, specifically, it doesn't have to be finished, as long as I just play them and have fun. And, yeah. Same thing with Dragon Ball Fighters. If I don't finish it, oh well. Uh, also, real quick, we'll be doing heroes, villains, hero, villain, and we'll do, like, you know, lab coat, Gogeta last, that type of thing. Probably Gogeta, um, SSJ4, and then lab coat last, because she was, like, the last character in DLC. So that's probably how I'll do it. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and... I might have another thing going on pretty soon, too. I don't know yet. Maybe another fighting game stuff going on, because I've been in the mood for fighting game stuff. And possibly might even stream Sparking Zero tomorrow when I get off. So, we'll see. Anyway, as always, take care, everybody.